Mr. Duff, the science buff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Duff, 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 Duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Science rules. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Inertia is a property of modern. Duff, 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 Duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Welcome to Backyard Science with Mr. Duffany. I'm currently enjoying 500 milliliters of green tea on my deck. 500 milliliters is half a liter. You don't need Bill Dye, the science guy, when you got Mr. Duff, the science buff. Now let's go explore my backyard. Over here, this is Grandma Val, a rose bush. We all know that every rose bush has its thorns. The thorns are a physical adaptation um, that the rose bush uses to protect itself. Here, there's a rose about to bloom. The around it is the, called the sepal, S-E-P-A-L, that uh, protects it while it's growing inside. How about some flower power? Now follow me over here. We have some beautiful pink flowers. Now remember the parts to a flower? There are the uh, stamen, which has the male parts, and then there's the uh, pistil that has the female parts. And let's explore some more of my backyard. Here in my backyard, I have a bird feeder. You see the seeds? Think about what kind of beak a bird would need to eat these seeds. A bird beaks are an example of a physical adaptation. Now let's go check out Nefarious. See this beautiful tree here? Its name is Nefarious. It's green. It is an evergreen tree. It is also considered a conifer because it has pine cones on it. Let's check out a pine cone over here. Look at this beautiful pine cone. You know, it's nearly a two year process in forming. This pine tree is a conifer. It's an evergreen. It's a cone bearing plant. That's why it had a tree. That's why it's called a conifer. And the seeds are inside that. The babies are inside that pine cone. Now let's keep going. In this part of my backyard, this is the yellow brick road. See the sign says, follow the yellow brick road, but that's another story. Let's keep on going, exploring my backyard. You can see that fence. My fence keeps getting damaged. The bears keep on breaking through my uh, fence to try to get to my bird feeders. Very irritating, don't you think? Are, ba are bears warm-blooded or cold-blooded? Are they vertebrates or invertebrates? Bears are mammals that are omnivores. That means they eat everything. Now over here, what is this? Wow, more yellow brick road. I wonder where that leads, but that's another story. Over here is a holly tree. What's the matter with you? You don't like holly trees? But on the bottom of the leaves of these holly plant leaves are stomata, the little openings that help with photosynthesis. You see the dark green color? The dark green color comes from the chloroplast that are filled with chlorophyll. So let's keep on going. Let's go check on another tree. That's an evergreen also. How about this is tree is named Henry. Henry is a deciduous tree. See, it's starting to get its leaves back. Uh, it loses its leaves in the fall. Deciduous trees lose their leaves in fall in order to prepare for the winter. They suck in nutrients and seal themselves uh, to retain water over uh, the winter. So remember, that's a deciduous tree. Now this is Mr. Duffany's pool. It has 16 sides. I wonder what kind of shape that is, a geometric shape. Now remember, an octagon has eight sides. This has 16. I think that is called a hexadecagon. This is my fire pit. You know, science is really lit. Wow, man, my jokes are on fire. But anyways, see this wood? When I burn it, is that gonna be a physical change or a chemical change? Well, since I get a new substance, the ash, it is a chemical change. Let's leave my fire pit and let's head to the pool. This is my 20,000 gallons of H2O. H2O means Remember, the molecules have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Um, the pool has 20,000 gallons. Now remember, there are four quarts in a gallon. How many quarts are in this pool? Well, 20,000 times four would mean it's 80,000 quarts. Now let's look at the dimensions of this pool. The diameter is the distance from side to side. 
That is 26 feet. The diameter of this pool from side to side is 26 feet. Now, how about the circumference? That's the distance all the way around is the circumference. Well, I told you earlier it was a hexadecagon with 16 sides. Each one of the sides is four feet. So if you multiply 16 times four, you know the circumference of the pool is 64 feet. Oh, I don't want to mention one thing about those atoms in the H2O. Don't forget, remember they were on the periodic table? Remember the periodic table? Uh, periodic table of elements? Anyways, let's check out the temperature here. This is the pool's thermometer. It says it is about, whoa, I'm lucky it's about 73 degrees. See the F? That's for Fahrenheit. The C is for Celsius. What you need to know is that in science we use Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius is boiling. Zero degrees Celsius is when water freezes. Wow, it's kind of a windy day out here. You know, wind is a force. Remember, a force is a push or a pull. Newton's first law is that an object at rest wants to stay at rest. An object in motion wants to stay in motion. Don't yeah, yeah, and inertia is a property of matter. We get it, Bill Nye. Oh, no! Whoa! Man, I'm really hot today. I'm on, my jokes are on fire, right? I'm burning up. Let's cut.